fuck are you still doing here? What is that, some kind of fucking poetic statement? Get the fuck out of here. I have to review Silent Running. What the fuck are you talking about, review? Silent Running is a 1971 sci-fi movie starring Bruce Dern, directed by Douglas Trumbull, who did some special effects on movies such as Blade Runner, Star Trek, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Bruce Dern is an astronaut aboard a ship with a couple other astronauts, and they're part of this reforestation effort, and it's his life's mission, but they're suddenly told one day that they can terminate the mission and destroy the ship. And Bruce Dern is having none of this. I actually first heard of this movie because it was listed as an influence on Mystery Science Theater 3000 in that the similarity is that it's a man aboard a spaceship who makes his own robots for his own amusement. And it's sort of a reverse version of 2001. Are you still here? What the I fuck would... are you doing? Is it like a review thing that you do? Yes. And this serves as kind of a reverse 2001 instead of technology overtaking man, it's man reclaiming technology. At the time, the message of technology bad, and even environmentalism was sort of becoming old hat, but this movie sort of reclaims the humanity of astronauts, which are usually portrayed as kind of banal, especially even in 2001. Sometimes the strength of a given work is what it doesn't show you and what it doesn't do, and this movie moves briskly along through 90 minutes. It starts, it gets its message in, and it gets out, and although it's a little top-heavy at the beginning with its environmental stuff and the sort of hippy dippy Joan Baez music. I found it to be a very pleasant movie. The only real negative I came away with this is that it felt just kind of like a really, really great episode of a TV show, but it never really sort of got beyond that level. But by the same token, the sort of simplicity and humbleness of the movie may be a nice alternative to viewers who thought that 2001 was too arduous and self-indulgent and the sets are efficient enough without being too flashy. The film was also made on a budget of only a million dollars, so it's pretty impressive what they were able to do with those resources. And this included the very 70s move of having the robots be played by actual amputees, which sort of reminds me of the way that the residents made that film Vileness Fats. And since they only had a tiny studio with a low ceiling, Every character was a short person. And going back to the idea of less is more, there's a lovely little scene about two-thirds of the way into the movie where Bruce Stern plays poker with the other robots. And if there was one or two other scenes of this type, it would have been overkill, but the fact that this scene just kind of comes and goes, it's such a touching, charming moment of the movie and really stands out. The film actually ends up being quite sad and hopeless, especially with the downbeat ending, so... The film actually ends up being quite sad and hopeless, especially with its downbeat ending, so smaller, more intimate moments like that stand out as a result. So if you like movies where it's kind of hanging out with characters, or maybe just one character, especially in outer space, you'd probably enjoy this maybe in a similar way to Alien, where you're just kind of getting to know the characters and their everyday habitat that happens to be outer space. He only really reprograms the robots about two-thirds of the way into the movie, so for me I was kind of just waiting for those scenes to happen. So ultimately I really enjoyed this movie. If anything, it came off ever so slightly a little bit underwhelming. If I could have changed anything, I would have probably gotten rid of the other astronauts a little sooner in the movie and then just had more fun and games with the robots because he only ends up reprogramming them about two-thirds of the way into the movie. So you could have had maybe some scenes where uh, they defy him or he becomes at odds with them and then that ends up just being sort of a reflection of his own personality. Plus we needed a big crazy laser fight. So after finishing it I thought, well that's a wonderful little movie. Maybe not the first one that needs to be shot off into space and preserved in a pod, but it's a nice alternative to all the other space movies that are constantly being thrown in our face like Star Trek and Star Wars. Yeah, matter of fact, fuck Star Wars. What, what the fuck did you say? Stay sexy, gotta go.